Hi friends, this class is regarding associative memory networks. Let us see what, why these networks have been constructed and what is the purpose of these networks. So what is meant by associative, associative property and all these things will be discussed in this video. Associative memory. So the pattern association is the process of forming association between a related patterns. So there are so many patterns in the universe, but there is some associativity, some relation between some patterns and that associ that property has to be saved and that property has to be stored in the network and those networks or those memory parts is called associative memory. So the pattern that has to be associated may be of same type or different type, maybe if suppose I may give the one matrix of one row with six columns and the same matrix I may give in the target also. So I will give the one row with six columns matrix as an input and the same thing as an output then that is called pattern with same type and otherwise I can give something different also. So I can give one row with 15 columns and I can give one row with two columns as target and one row with 15 column as input so those the pattern may be different but in between we can make some relationship or we can make some association we can create something and by using those things we can prove that and this pattern and that pattern is associated that means once i go, go from input to output those two by taking the input i am reaching the output so the this output my desired output and this output or the target and the actual output are same then that property is called associative property and now we are going to do all these things in the forthcoming videos so associative memory net can be seen as a simplified model of human brain which can associate similar patterns so as our human brain associate the similar patterns that means we can see the son of some person and we can able to identify his feature that means we can able to identify that he this person may be some of son of some other person those and that person was very well known to us so this property is basically human brain's property and that property so associative memory is approximately equal to identify those things so we can call it as simplified model of human brain associative neural nets are sim single layer nets in which the weights are determined to store and a set of pattern association so actually these are the single layer networks that means there are two layers one is input layer and output layer but the basically the computation has to be done in one layer but sometimes it will be in the two layers but still in one go if the computation will be at one layer only that's why these are the single layer neural networks and in which the weights are determined to store an asset of pattern association that means the weights have to be determined in such a way to store the sets of pattern association that means the input and out the input and target may be different but based on based on to create the association between these two patterns we need to design our weights such that these two patterns are the same okay let us see how that thing happens by taking an example also let's move further and let's discuss more about the types of associative memories maybe same type and different type so what are those things and that will be discussed here types of associative memory networks the associative memory networks are basically two types one is if the input vector p is same as the output vector p then it results in an auto associative net so the, there are two types one is auto associative net and the second one is hetero associative net auto associative net means the input vector pair and the output vector pair are the same as i already told you the input is one one row with six columns so 
the output is also one row with six columns then that network is called auto associative network and coming to the next one the next one is if the input vector pair and is different from that of output vector pair that means so the input vector pair is having for example it is having one column with 15 one row with 15 columns but the target may be with one row with only two columns so that in that case that network is called hetero associative network or hetero associative network so the bidirectional associative memory so which is exactly what we are interested to discuss the bidirectional associative memory is the example of a hetero associative network so that's why we need to concentrate more on hetero associative network where the input is input and targets are different so let's move further so now we are going to bidirectional associative memory so what we will learn in bidirectional associative memory and those things will be discussed in this slide First, we need to learn the architecture. So, wh how, what are the input layer? What is the output layer? And how they are connected? And what is the how? Why the weights are connected? All these things will be discussed in the architecture. And once architecture is finished, once we know the architecture, we need to find the uh, how to train the network. So, training the network if the input and target patterns are given. How to train the network? First, we need to identify the weights of the the weights of the network as we have already discussed the weights of the networks are the the weights of networks have to keep the assets of pattern relations and pattern association so those information has to be based on the input and target we need to identify the weights once weights are done and we need to select the activation function also to test our networks once these things are happened, now we need to go ahead with the testing with a particular pattern. So we need to test it from X layer to Y layer. We can call, okay, we can simply call, but we should not call like that. But for time being, let's call like that. We need to go ahead from input to output. And again, we need to come back from output to input. As why we need to go like this means that is the architecture of bidirectional associative memory that will be discussed in the next video the architecture of bidirectional associative memory how the bidirectional associative memory will be constructed and uh, what is exactly going on in bidirectional associative memory first we need to start from x layer and we need to go up to y layer and we need to take the inputs at x layer and we need to observe the targets at y layer so whatever output we are getting we need to compare with targets so if that is correct the network will be conversed otherwise we need to go ahead we need to go back and we need to concentrate one more time and this is one type of te testing and we need to test one more type that type is we need to test from y to x also that means we need to take the target as the input and we will get some output at x layer and that output is compared with the input okay these things will be discussed very nicely by taking one example okay so this is the basic idea of associative memory associative memory networks and there are two types one is auto associative memory net and hetero associative memory net in hetero associative memory net one of the best example is bidirectional associative memory so in bidirectional associative memory we need to see what is the architecture and how the what is the training part and what is the testing part in training part how the weights will be obtained if we if we get the if we know the input and targets of a particular pattern and how which activation function we need to take and the testing how the testing will be done maybe from x to y and y to x and all these things will be discussed in the next video by the heading bidirectional associative memory and after that we will take one example and we will discuss we will do all these things in a practical manner so thank you thank you so much